Hey y'all, so this is an update. I told you guys that I was about to, I needed a test done to test my antibodies against my treatment. And the coolest thing is they come to your house and draw your blood. So I have this lady here, Veronica. She's gonna steal my blood from me. Just a couple. <laughs> And of course, you know I'm going to film this part because I always do. So make a fist and let's do this. So keep a stretch okay. so that your ring will pop. I'm going to be using a piggy one just okay. in case. If blood doesn't come out, that way we don't mess up the other one, the real two. Yeah. Okay, just one more one. Now we're gonna get it open. Ooh, there we go. I had some sugar today too. Oh, you did? Yeah. Okay. So you record every single step? Yeah. I well, I have a YouTube channel. And oh, you I do? Up, yeah, I upload updates and. Since I've been sick, you know, because I'm a professional bodybuilder, I've lost most of my muscle mass. Oh, you did? From this disease, yeah. So, the first time I lost over 55 pounds. Mm -hmm. I was literally skin and bones. And then, eventually, when I went into remission, I made a comeback to the stage. was lucky to have two good years of back, being back on stage. And mm -hmm. then I ended up with this flare-up, and I lost, like, 37 pounds of muscle. Mm-hmm. So normally I'm bigger than this, but um, yeah, so it's just, it's been rough. Oh, so that was easy. Hold it like this, and we just put pressure. Okay. I didn't even feel the needle going. You did it? No. Good. That's a good sign. All good, and she got my blood. All right, y'all, so my blood test is over. Um, it was really fast, and I didn't even feel the needle go in. I still have a little Band-Aid and everything on my arm. Um, so this test was to, I don't know, some genetic DNA testing or something like that, but it is to test to see if I have built up antibodies against the Remicade infusion treatment I've been receiving since December, December, January. Um, when I went to the hospital in December, I had a dose of the Remicade and then my actual loading phase treatment started in January. So I've had nine treatments so far and I should have been in remission already months ago doing this Remicade, and I'm not. So that's why there's a concern to see if I've built up antibodies. Um, if I did, then definitely I have to switch over to a new drug treatment, which my doctor is trying to do that, trying to get me onto this Intivio, some new drug that's like crazy amount of money, like $59,000. I go every six weeks, so that's almost 60 grand every six weeks. And right now my Remicade infusion treatment is about 25, 30 grand every six weeks. Of course I don't pay that much because it's getting billed through my insurance, but my co-payments are still pretty up there. So as you can see, my medical expenses kind of um, stress me out a little bit. Um, and then of course this test today, like $2,500. Like I don't understand how these medical companies and the drug companies and all this stuff, that, Things are so expensive, and especially when it comes to Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis, and that's what I have experience with, but I know things that in reference to my illness, nothing is cheap. So I know, like, I'm sure cancer, whatever other ailments and Ill diseases that are out there, I'm sure those drugs aren't cheap either. So, um, you know, it's just the good old government drug pharmaceutical drug companies you know they're in bed together um making money so i don't know that's a whole other subject i don't want to even get on that anybody who knows me though when i talk about the government and the pharmaceutical drug industry um i have my opinions 
But anyway, so um, today I'm feeling pretty good. Yesterday, not so good. The day before, I felt pretty good. So with my symptoms, it's always hit or miss. So right now, I haven't exactly gotten worse, but I haven't gotten better. Um, my frustration really is, I guess, in the fact that this is so long and drug out and I am getting tired and, and frustrated and, you know, um, at the end of my wits sometimes. And I know I've mentioned that and discussed it, but I still always try to keep a positive attitude regardless of how I'm feeling. I got to wake up every day, um, go to bed every night, you know, still staying positive, even though the apparent situation is that I do suffer, you know, with symptoms and pain and night sweats and in the bathroom a lot and bleeding and everything else that comes along with it. Um, but I am lucky to have really good spurts through, throughout the day where I'm not dealing with any symptoms. So I embrace those moments. But like I said, every day I still try and stay very positive. You know, even though I might be suffering, I suffer most in the morning and mostly in the evening. And, but I still tell myself I'm healthy, I feel good, I feel great. This is gonna be a great day. Um, I'm healed. I gotta keep that self mental positive talk going on to me, to my brain. Hopefully, you know, so that way it catches up into my body, you know, so, you know, that law of attraction. Um, I'm just waiting for the body to follow all the words that I'm saying. Um, it's been ten and a half months that I've been dealing with this flare-up. So, I really, really pray to God that, you know, this, this zips up really soon, that I get into remission. I don't want to be dealing with these symptoms anymore. Um, it does affect the quality of my life. Um, sometimes my mental sharpness and my hustle game and my thinking, a lot of things, there's a lot of things affected. I'm okay with the fact that I've lost size and I am smaller. I'm fine with that. I do want to get my smaller size into better shape, but that isn't really going to happen until this gets fixed because this is my engine. This is this this is my car and this is my engine. So once I get that engine in good shape and good form and purring top condition, um, then I can focus on the rest of the body. Um, I don't care about getting big and I don't care about getting super strong and all those things that people ask me. Um, I'm fine with where I'm at. Um, I'm in a place where size ain't always, but to me size, I don't have to be big. I do want to be smaller. I just want to be tight and toned and fit and back to my athletic self. Um, I don't like the fact that I'm always winded all the time. I battle with fatigue. Um, I have anemia right now from the bleeding and I get really, really tired. Um, I just have a few flight of stairs that I have to walk up here and literally that gets me winded and tired just walking up those stairs sometimes. I get tired just maybe sometimes changing weights or, you know, um, when I'm training a client. Sometimes certain exercises, when I'm demonstrating exercises, I get tired, like wiped out. So any of you who have this condition or deal with this uh, fatigue understands my state of condition and therefore that's the reason why too. I haven't trained since the end of August. So it's been over maybe one and a half months, going on two months that I haven't worked out. Um, not in a rush. My body and my health and everything else comes first. I'm not going to waste all my energy right now totally on focusing on a full-blown training regimen because right now my body is using every bit of energy to fight this disease which causes me to be tired. So I'm just dealing with that right now. And that's pretty much it. But that's my update. If anybody has any questions, let me know. Um, at the same time, you know, like I always mention about my medical expenses and all that, it takes a toll on me. It does affect me. It does affect uh, my cost of living and, 
and a lot of things. This whole disease has really got its, its arms wrapped around me, and I'm trying not to let it. Um, so I will have information, contact information, my GoFundMe fundraiser account information will be in the description box below. So anybody who wants to help me out, I appreciate it. Um, the support and, and the love everybody's given me. Um, I thank you always. And I will end up doing another video, uh, vlog, because I was told that's the term, vlog. Um, anyways, so stay tuned for another update. Any questions, hit me up. Send me comments. Like my video. Share it. Um, and that's it. So thank you and... Till next time.